Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit, and today is an exciting day because we have some new Moza Racing hardware. This beautiful R21 direct drive wheel from Moza Racing. I cannot thank Moza Racing enough for being a continued partner with me and being such a great partner. The Moza Racing R21, 21 newton meters worth of force. This thing is going to be a beast on the chassis. Good thing I have my you know next level chassis to keep this thing shaking around. But overall appearance of it, I love the gold collar that kind of looks like a twist release. But it's actually got a, a pretty long collar comparative to what I thought it was going to have. So that's good for when I go to triples, the monitors can sit there. But of course, you also have the partitions for, you know, the displays and everything like that. You know, we do have, of course, that nice hyper yellow accenting. We have, you know, emergency stop, USB, our power, and our power button, everything in standard plug spots on the bottom but like i said i can't think moza racing enough for sending this r21 out here this beautiful r21 base i can't wait to get this on the chassis and see what the difference between this and of course you guys know the r9 that i'm always constantly running and loving i love the r9 and how it feels but now we have the r21 which is not much bigger Okay, it's a, it's a little bit bigger. Not much bigger than the R9, but definitely has way more power and everything like that. So it'd be nice to be able to crank up some power, you know, for racing and drifting like that and have the ability to where it doesn't peak too, too much. And we can see where we're actually going to be when it comes to how much power. Of course, obviously, Moses' signature quick release with their, you know, pins for direct connection for all the wheels. So definitely excited to get this on the chassis. So we're going to get this mounted up, go through some software and see where we're at. All right. So we do have the R21 mounted up here on the next level chassis. Of course, you can see the Moza handbrake and everything. But so one thing I didn't know when I mounted this up, I did have to adjust the way my plate was and the height and everything of the chassis because this is a little bit higher with the rays on this uh, actual base, a little bit higher than... Uh, the R9, and I had to slide it back slightly um, on the chassis because it's a little bit longer of a collar, and I kind of it felt like it was just a little bit further out for the mounting holes and everything like that because of this and the collar forward. So not a big deal. So we do have it all hooked up with the bigger power brick that it came with, all the software and everything updated. And when it comes to actually on the Moza Pit House software, we are going to go ahead and go ahead and just try it on the official but we're going to set it to 900 degrees. So that's the only real difference that I'm actually going to make in the software for this first impressions of this. So we are on the streets of Long Beach in a GT4 Mustang. And we're going to go full send and see how the factory settings feel. And, if, you know, the noticeable difference between the R9 to this very powerful R21. We do have the, uh, you know, RS V2 wheel hooked up on here. Definitely love this wheel. Such a clean and amazing looking wheel. So let's go full send here in this Mustang. So like I said, we are on the factory setting. All we do is have it set to 900 degrees. And already I can feel a definite power change when it comes to how much feedback it's actually on. Now this is only actually running at 60% force feedback in the pit house app. So we can definitely increase and add more, but it already feels quite nice like the R9 does. But I feel like I'm going to probably add a little more uh, force feedback to get a little more feel, a little more, you know, in, in the wheel feel, but overall first impressions oh i can feel that lock up that wheel got really loose is there's definitely a substantial difference when it comes to the 21 versus 9 obviously you know 21 newton meters with a force versus um nine newton meters now the r21 i'm noticing is not doesn't have any type of notchy feel or anything like that and of course you guys know in the next video we we taken this thing sideways and we're gonna be going full send and trying to get a good ooh, I say full send and drift and we're, oh wow, I really screwed that turn up. We're starting to slide a little bit in this Mustang GT4, but we're going to go full send in this 
with drifting in the next episode so make sure you guys sub to the channel and of course hit that like button if you guys want to see the next episode which is going to be the r21 and drifting and you know how i feel about it when it comes to the drifting aspect so definitely has a lot heavier of a wheel feel when it comes to the speed threshold set up higher and you can definitely feel the full torque of the wheel set at 60 but i know we can go way higher so we may be bumping this up into a higher bracket because i feel like 60 is a very good safe uh feedback this is this wheel can definitely uh cause some problems on full feedback for sure with the amount of force that this thing can put out so definitely uh i think i need to get myself uh an emergency stop button just in case this wheel decides it wants to start like freaking out like right now it's not freaking out too bad um i do have hands off protection on so that's one thing if you don't have emergency stop make sure you have the hands off protection set and turned on so that if the wheel starts freaking out or you crash you can kind of just let the wheel go and it'll stop you know freaking out and panic and spinning and all that stuff to prevent any you know injury or anything like that because direct drive wheels can be extremely extremely dangerous when it comes to getting your finger caught in here so my first impressions of the 21 it's sleek it's not big i thought it was actually in going to be a lot larger in person um it's not i it, it's very small compact very uh sleek design i like the sports car inspired design oh yep yeah, definitely can feel the curbs oh my that was a late break. That was a bad braking zone. Because of the fact that it's on 60 and you're not peaking the force feedback, I feel like it has so much room to cause more feedback when it comes to like rumble strips and bumps like that. That is aggressively more. <laughs> so definitely going to have to get some fine-tuned dial-in settings. But this is just on the factory GT, and it actually feels ooh, quite nice. And I may actually fake like leave this but fine-tune it slightly maybe just add a little bit more force feedback when it comes to threshold maybe not even this car has uh got a lot of feedback this mustang the gt4 the gorilla mods car has a lot of feedback if the car is actually set i believe down to oh, that was way too early down to 85 percent on the force feedback of the car because of uh it was just really aggressive to turn on that i may be oh handbrake don't work i was just gonna handbrake that through so overall impressions of the moza 21 from my first impression i cannot wait to get a tune dialed in for drifting and stuff like that i feel it's very smooth and linear and when it's rotations and i can't thank moza racing enough for you know sending this out and letting me get my hands on this 21 can't thank them enough for being such an amazing partner of myself and the channel and just a great company to work with for all of this sim gear and everything like that the moza is definitely taking the world uh sim world by shock with the amount of hardware they come out with quality hardware and you know the aircraft grade aluminum on the 21 with the ooh, with the nice uh smooth sides that uh Hyper yellow accenting is definitely awesome. When I opened this up for the first time and saw that it was the black one, I was super excited to get the black one. Their orange one is also amazing looking, but the black one definitely ties into my entire rig setup. Oh, I locked it up. That wheel got really light under lockup. That is uh, that's something I felt before. That actually is quite nice. So definitely going to be dropping and drifting in the next episode. So if you guys want to see the R21 in drifting action. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upload. And it, once again, I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. Oh my, that snapped back really hard and I broke way too early. I'll see you guys on the track.